when you take a group on a mission field and, and people, especially the first time they've ever done this, they're very intimidated by sharing the gospel and they don't know how to begin the conversation. They don't know how to approach people. But when you're giving someone a filter that will give them clean drinking water, people rush to you to try and find out what you're going to offer them. And it's a great way to present the gospel by showing how the filter works, by cleaning out the impurities in the water. And you use that to show how Jesus can be the filter of their life, to bring the sin out of their life and to clean them in the eyes of God. And every time I've taken a group, as soon as a person sees me present the gospel using the filter, uh, I have them immediately be able to do that. In fact, I have two children who are both teenagers and they saw me present the gospel to people. They were immediately able to do this uh, and share the gospel and they loved it. And it's a great way to do that because you're providing a tremendous need for someone, but um, you're doing it in an easy way. They legitimately have the experience of sharing Christ with people through the filters. We've had students share Christ for the very first time ever on these trips. Uh, we're always well taken care of, everything is safe and secure, um, and they put us in opportunities and places to where we can use the ability of our students and help them grow uh, to see how life is different from what it is here in the States in another country. And our students learn a lot from the process. One of the great things about Filter of Hope uh, mission trips is that it's all planned out very well and to go and, and to make that difference and to get to share the gospel while we're there has been really incredible. All we have to do is have our hearts ready and be ready to go and, and serve in the name of Jesus. One of the big things about working with Filter of Hope is that we get to go door to door and meet a physical need uh, that these people have but also we get to share the gospel with them and, and meet the spiritual need. You can go and you can share your heart with families that are in need. And that just touches my heart, you know, to, to be able to just go to a, a country where the need is so great and to be able to supply something that's, that's very needy for, for their life. As a pastor, you're always concerned about what about follow-up, what about discipleship. You don't want to go down there and just help someone for a day and then feel good about yourself and come home. But Filters of Hope has it set up with local pastors who will continue to follow up, will continue working with these people who receive the filters, and we know there's going to be a lot of great discipleship follow-ups. I've never seen a better gospel presentation tool than these filters are, and uh, it's why we like to work with Filters of Hope the gospel presentation is dynamic and makes a lasting impact. So Filter of Hope really takes care of us um, and does a great job in leading us in those trips. I would strongly encourage any pastor of a church who's trying to get their people involved, especially those who've never done missions on an international field, to work through Filters of Hope. We've expanded from one trip per year to now we're doing three the next year to both Dominican Republic and to Cuba. And if you're thinking about going, we would highly encourage it, uh, whether with your church or jumping in with a mixed group, uh, we know you'll be blessed if you decide to go.